Now that's that's going to help the post-millennial viewpoint. Clarifying the time frame. <coughs> These last days refer to the whole period of Christianity. Here's some evidence. Acts 2, 16 and 17. It's about Pentecost, the pouring out of the Spirit, <coughs> speaking in tongues, the marveling of the people. Acts 2, 16 and 17. Peter stands up and says, this is what was spoken of through the prophet Joel. It shall be in the last days. So right back here, just after the cross, at the ascension, he's already saying, these are the last days. In fact, the, the tongue-speaking event is a sign that the last days have come. The last days cover this whole period. Hebrews 1, verses 1 and 2. God, after he spoke long ago to the fathers, in these last days has spoken unto us by his son. In the first century, when the writer of Hebrews was writing, he was already calling this the last days. And the last days continue on until the last day. 1 Corinthians 10, 11. Now these things happen to them. He's, he's bringing some examples from the Old Testament in Israel in the wilderness. These things happen to them as an example and they were written for our instruction upon whom the ends of the ages have come. The ends of the ages are here, says Paul. And he can point back to the experience of Israel and say that they are examples for us because upon us, we're living now in this time, the last days, the consummation of the ages. Now when, uh, yes? I think too, it's important to make a distinction between the, the beginning of the end versus the end of the end. It seems like this would be the beginning of the end in 1783, correct? That's a good way to put it. Next edition, he shall have dominion, will do that. Good, good thought. That's the beginning of the end. And then this is the end of the end. Good, good observation. Now, the last days would end with the last day, wouldn't you think? Last days? The last day. Well, what happens on the last day? John 6, 44. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. That's talking about the resurrection at the end of history. John eleven twenty four. I'm talking, that's uh, Lazarus' sister talking about him dying and Jesus not being there to prevent it. And she says, I, in John eleven twenty four. I know that he will rise up again in the resurrection on the last day. 